recently I was called to give some extra support to some guys that did an advanced diagnostic training here with us and barely knew that we were going to face a great challenge. But as we work with advanced diagnostic training, we prioritize supporting quite strongly because I believe that a course without support is just, uh, just like a coke without fizzy gas. The vehicle in question is an, an American F-150 pickup truck supercharger engine that wields about 750 horsepower. This engine has some adaptations and some more extra parts than the original one. The electric failure was impeding the engine to start and when it did, it would run for a few seconds and then stop. And this is absolutely nothing unusual here. Mechanics always get this in their day to day, but in this case was quite atypical. The wires are in the same color, so it is difficult to be guided and to know what current it, it is in each one of them. Truly a great challenge. It is like going after a bear in the jungle. There is no recipe and some advice does not help much. It's you and the problem. However, in the if the mechanic has mastered the use of the oscilloscope diagnostic tool, he works much more confidently, without many worries when you are using this tool. And there we put our failure hunter into action. It is not every day that a challenge like this comes up. But when it does, you even vibrate because you are in, when you are prepared to face this challenge, instead of escaping from it, you start to look for it. It's just like a hunter who is not afraid of the beast and even hopes that it appears. The oscilloscope helps us mechanics a lot because it's able to investigate the root case of the problem and shows us this, how the system is working in real time. Having it, you develop every day and you can follow the evolution of the embedded technology. If the OBD scanner does not access, you do not worry, and if you have no electric schema, you do not care much. The secret of the updated mechanic to succeed is that he learns how to learn, because our profession evolutes so quickly every day. And every day is a different day. And we need to be prepared in this mission. I've been a mechanic since I was a child, but in 2014 I decided to take on this mission, which is to teach the procedures to mechanics and always be prepared to learn. So let's go to the tests. You test one thing and you test the other down here and go inside the car and you start the engine and you only watch it vibrating and you turn off and let's go. We let, let started with the pedal and we tested the accelerator pedal and the graphics We came to, to us and we noticed that there was a fault but then the power did not get there correctly we left the acceleration system and we picked up the signal and we suspected internal problem in the acceleration system. We removed it to check the internal parts, how it was and the physical characteristics of the component, components. There is a special acce acceleration system. It seems to be developed only for this truck and look, we did not find anything. We tested 
MAP map sensor and the fault code directed us to a problem in the central ECU on the engine controller. We also removed and it, it made a, a bench test and verifications but we did not find anything. We continued the tests. It is difficult to summarize the whole day of work in a video but it is very difficult to access the scar both from the top and from the bottom here you can put your hand there but it's difficult to film but the problem we found was behind the head someone assembled these electric cables when they made supercharger some modifications in this engine and left wires loose and they were moving there's a thread, it broke and touched the body of the work, the body work, and of the pickup truck. And this short circuit overturned the power and some sensors of some actors caused all this failure. I have, I have a tired face, as you can see, and this because of a lot of work, this video is one of the one of the series of uh, motor motor fort souls we give oscillate copes training but we work we work very hard every day and that's how we increase our know-how and it's solving problems really today i left my workshop in the morning it was about half past eight in the morning and i came here in to this workshop of my partner to see this truck and there was a serious problem it has been to another in the hands of other professionals but they couldn't find the problem this truck is with a acceleration failure problem and the engine turned on for a few seconds running and turned off by itself it is a special special edition which gave me a, a work until half past 9 p.m. It's a holiday eve, tomorrow is a holiday and I'm still here with my dirty hand and I still have to put my tools away. But anyway, I arrived here in the morning, we worked, I left my workshop and I came here for around a trip of 250 kilometers. We spent the day working on this truck and it, for about 12 hours of work, this truck is an American special edition that was imported to Brazil. What was complicated for us to carry out this diagnosis is that there is no technical information, nor my friends that have repair shop in the, US, the United States. They, they, even in Brazil, we believe that there are two only two or three in this trucks of this like this is the strongest pickup in the world and is the most expensive too. We started checking up everything without an electrical scheme, without technical information, asking colleagues and help and people who have enough experience with this imported car, but we did not get any kind of material that gave us support to work on it. And then 12 hours later, we managed to find its problem. It was an electric wire. It seemed perfect, but the central electronic ECU, everything indicated failure in the ECU and pointed to acceleration system, but it didn't read the acceleration and also did not stop working. And we, I'd say that we always have this kind of problems with acceleration system, but usually it does not accelerate, but it's the idling, idling of the car is working nicely. So we started working and we started um, testing all these this problems, but we couldn't know what uh, the information that would get to it without knowing anything, but we found out the, the problem was in the wire. And now it is running smoothly. Our pickup is now running nicely. The tools are here. Look at this. Wow, so many things. Look. 
These are my tools. Yeah, now without fail. Look and listen to the engine. In my courses, I aim to guide professionals to learn how to always improve their skills and put everyone in contact with the same techniques that I use to master the diagnosis embedded electronics. I say electronic embedded because oscilloscope gives you a support for your understood to understand and the system, no matter the vehicle. The oscilloscope teaches you and develop a new train in the tools that you develop are on our site and be sure to visit our site motorfortechnologia.com.br There it is, the V8 pickup truck now is running smoothly and beautifully, shall buy 750 horsepower. There it is, the final result. And check out our, how luxurious and very beautiful this truck is. The feeling you have here is you are on board a spaceship, something like that. So that's it for now. Mission accomplished. Cheers, guy. See you next time. Come, come